let's talk about one of the oldest metaphors in computing, the desktop. Home of grassy meadows, mountains, pictures of your loved ones, and a mess of documents. The story of the desktop metaphor is tied to the story of the desktop computer. We're not going to rehash the whole Microsoft Apple saga here, but take a look at their original inspiration as seen in this 1982 Xerox marketing video. The display screen shows your working environment. We call this the desktop. It is an electronic analog for an office. On the screens are small pictures or icons representing familiar office objects. Pause. Enhance that. Add a few coats of paint and it's easy to see fundamentally the operating system interface is still based on this 46-year metaphor. I want to make something clear though. You can still have a desktop computer without having a desktop. This and this share the same name, but they're not the same thing. A desktop computer is a computer that sits on your desk, just like a laptop is a computer that sits on your lap. It has nothing to do with the operating system's interface. That's why when you're using your laptop, you don't throw your files on a lap. So let's talk about that desktop metaphor. This is my desk, the thing that inspired this, my desktop. Now here's the thing about real desks. They're stupid. They're unaware that they themselves exist. They don't know their place in the universe, let alone the work that you're doing upon them. Now, despite all of the advances in 46 years of computing, our computer desktops are still lifeless rectangles, unaware of themselves and you. But well, that's, that's not fair. There has been one advancement. Stacks. Stacks of paper. <sighs> it's time to stop drawing out this old metaphor. It's time to kill the desktop. Now, I'm not the first person to propose alternatives. In fact, as I was working on this, UX designer Jason Yuan released his vision for killing the desktop with his beautiful Mercury OS. Like Mercury, I envision the desktop not being a place where you throw junk, but it helps you to get your work done. Okay, I'll stop stalling. Here it is. First, I stayed away from redefining the entire operating system. There are still Windows, the file system is still the same. I focused entirely on replacing that lifeless desktop with a productivity hub inspired by components that, that are already in use in macOS and iOS. At its core is the stream, built around the idea that what I've done recently relates to what I want to do next. Here the stream is tracking files that I've modified or downloaded recently. And as it tracks your work, it learns the context of those files and suggests related actions. The stream is also capturing notes that I've taken, things I've copied to the clipboard, and other milestones that give you a sense of what you've accomplished. Now files, they're still here, but they're just not front and center, unless of course you want them to be. Instead of stacks of paper, pinned, Recently added items and frequently accessed files from across the file system are given prominence over file types. Saving files from your browser and don't want to think about how to organize them? Well, you can still save them to a junk drawer, which is accessible here. Your notes and a running history of items you've copied to your clipboard are accessible in the stream as well. And going on to other permanent areas, we have your events throughout the day, reminders, and then a combined communication hub where it combines different things like Slack and text messaging all into one, where you can instantly respond without having to leave the screen. So what about Siri and digital assistants? Well, you still have a ways to go, especially with Siri. But as its intelligence increases, well then so does your stream, so we can respond to emails by looking through your calendar. Siri is getting to know your routine and, and offering different actions that, that it thinks you would take. So that's it. 
I created this in Envision Studio, so if you'd like to click around and play with it, I'll include a link in the description below, or you can check out our blog post about this design at ideate.team. There are so many different ways that we could capitalize on, on this blank canvas that is the desktop. I'm sure I'm underthinking or overthinking certain areas, but if you have any ideas or feedback, reach out to us on Twitter at ID18. And please check out our user experience podcast, ID8, wherever you get your podcasts. After listening to the first episode, my father said, who would listen to this? 